So this is a stream that Burnt Toast did with Jules. I guess it's just Jules tells all, which is insane. When I was listening to this, I was like, "Wait, is that is the same Jules that's a mod right now in Shenny's stream, right?" And I believe this is 2021. It, they'll be flashing it on the screen here shortly. It's crazy. What caused the fallout, and why did Jules run back? To Shani. I'm confused for the whole thing. So you guys, if you know the details, please let me know. Fill me in. And I will also be linking Burn Toes channel in the description. But this was uh, quite fascinating. So Shani had a really, really sad, sad, sad birthday. Aww. She wouldn't even get on camera. And shout out to XX because she's amazing archiving all this. So shout out to her. Um, so let's get started. Green, and that's exactly how she started it. By the way, she's just so, such a professional at this. That is good. Probably because no one is awake right now. I love how she says no one's awake, well, and it's literally see. just her and Rev. Well, if you notice, what they're talking about is that they've been they've been having trouble streaming, and what it is is that they're at a hotel, G Man, and they have to share bandwidth with the other people there. Um. You so apparently this stream was done at the motel. Remember that newscast story where somebody stripped and stole some wires from the motel? Yes, that motel. So this is when this stream was being made. And I had to cut out some parts there because YouTube does not let you cursing like a sailor at the beginning of the videos. So I'll try to fill in the rest of the story if there's too much cursing in the next couple of minutes of the video. You got all bandwidth. Yeah. I just don't care anymore. So, whatever. It is what it is. What's up, people of Earth? Maybe, maybe the aliens are listening to this. If the aliens are listening to this, can you please? Have me escape this earth. I'll Shenny Shen Shen, representative of the aliens planet right here. We don't want you. You're going to end up stinking up our whole entire planet and our solar systems. So, no, 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 no. You're still where you're at. I just don't want to be in this reality anymore. Mm. I am completely disillusioned to life in every single way. Because it just seems like in my life, no matter what I do, everything seems to crumble apart. And nothing ever goes my way, which is which is just, you know, my way is just something very simple and loving and people caring and mm -hmm. and and just being there for each other. That 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 is my way. Shani, your way is chaos. That's your way. It's chaos the rest of us you see this little cute kitten over here that's how the rest of us actually want life to go our way like this cute little kitten your way is chaos that's your happy place and you're sitting there and wanting people to do stuff for you you don't want to lift a finger to help yourself which is why you're in the motel because neither of you two grown as adult babies refuse to lift a finger to help yourselves. Imagine having your kids gone for two months and she cares more about getting her way. <laughs> wow. I didn't get that in life. <laughs> All I've gotten in life is fake people with bad intentions and really bad morality. You guys, this this woman is for real, right? Wow. Shani Shen Shen. My Lenwell. My Shamu. Do me a favor. It's disturbing to me that your birthday is two days after mine. Do us all a salad, especially me. Mostly me. Move your birthday to like April or May. Far away from my birthday, I'll highly appreciate that. And look at this cute little cutie pie here. Anyways, let's continue. 
just at my throat constantly and not allowing me to live or thrive or have any happiness in life. Aww, like, I can't even that? Yeah, that's not what she used to say to her about her mom. She stole, she always steals my joy. <laughs> I don't know, this is off. I don't think it's this video, but maybe it is. I don't know. But I was watching this, uh, her recent videos, and she said that her sister stole her inheritance. And I was just like, okay, that's what we're doing now. Yeah, I guess she's just recycling that whole, like, my siblings abused me lie. Mm -hmm. That's so 2020. You know, because she didn't, like, tell her parents to die before they died. <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait a minute. My Shamu actually said that about our parents? Oh my. I swear to God. Shamu, the, my other Canadian bacon Lenoir in, in Kuwait, they're all going to be sitting uh, on a bench next to each other in hell. She actually said that about her parents. I know I have not gone through a lot of her past live streams i'm slowly working my way through to intertwine all this lore to make me understand even more but she's actually said that on a live stream holy moly one day of my life where i've been fully happy not one damn day of my damn, life damn you think happy. she would have been like you know somewhat happy when she gave birth to her children exactly i was about to say that so I mean, not I even some people deal with some mental stuff after having kids, but you would think like at least that's like, you know, one of the happy moments. Yeah, I can definitely say that the top three would be, you know, like, yeah. If she loves her boys so much, why are they not th her giving birth to them and seeing them for the first time? That should be a huge deal in her life. And not to mention uh, her boyfriend sitting right next to her. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just neglected this whole video. Nobody right. loves me. Nobody. Oh, God. <laughs> I left that part in because I completely agree. They worded it the way I was... Yeah, yeah, I agree. And... Oh, Shani. Just like Chantal, I'm sorry to bring it back to her. These people are incapable of loving anything or anybody they just want to be adored and adorned on giving back the same affections the same feelings the same love that's an alien concept to them that's like asking them to cut off their arm it's it's so sad really it is really really sad i don't understand what happens in one's life to become such a thing to become like them. I don't get it. My birthday was terrible. Good. Like, I didn't get anyone's attention. No I got one attention. cared enough to fucking talk to me. Shani, if you're not such a deplorable, deplorable, horrible human being and tried your best to make a better version of yourself instead of the fake better version of yourself, Perhaps maybe, just maybe, people would have showed up, showed up for you. But unfortunately for you, you are rotten as a human being. You are rotten to the core, through and through. That's why nobody bothered with you. Um, no presents. Me in my head, crying the whole time while hungry. When G-Man said, no, Christian, there are no starving Christians. Oh, there was a starving Christian, and it oh. was on their birthday. Oh? And I want to thank My Shamu, Shani Shen Shen, Honey Bun. Then, even now, you can go for a year just eating an apple a day, and you'll be just fine. You are not starving, and you will not be starving for two years. Your body will survive just fine. Apple a day and water. You'll be just fine, honey bun. Because that was a really, really, really special birthday. You know, my last my last year in my fucking 30s, you Who know? Who cares? And that's how my last year in my 30s start. Just, uh, see, now it's back. Ugh. Ugh. I hate this internet. I hate the fucking internet. I hate the fucking internet.
more than one. One of the reasons why I hate the connect internet is you can't do anything in life without the fucking internet. It's one of the only ways how you can communicate with people nowadays is the internet. And and that that that's the I, I am completely hopeless in everything in life. Yes. But that is one thing that I I, I know for sure is going to happen is me going to be ripped apart as a fucking person and treated like fucking horse shit. Oh, I know that's going to happen. I know there's going to be fake people out there, and there's way too many fake people lately that really pretended they cared, and and turned out they were just giving information to people. To, to the point where it's like, I, I don't even want to talk to anyone anymore. What's the point? You're just going to tear me up and treat me like shit and, and, and just treat me like I'm a shit person. I mean, because you are. And that's all I fucking get is you're a horrible person, but never a real reason why I'm a horrible pe person. Oh, my God. Just... We... My Lenwell. My Shamu. Not the cute Shamu. The ugly Shamu. The main reason you're an ugly person, your kids, ho. Your kids. And then there's the other litanies of reasons why you're a terrible person, sweetie bun. Or in this case, stinky bun. Get it together. Get it together here. <coughs> While they can lie and scam on people all the fucking time. All the fucking time. They can lie and scam to people and no yeah. one... And at this part is a very important part because I cut it out. Um... G-Man got them to move out to kick him out because he shut off the water and electricity and selling that he was having issues apparently and was planning to sell the house. That's how he got them out. But then, which is 22 during this video, people thought G-Man was bluffing, but he did actually end up selling the house. So I thought it was very important for me to be transparent and insert that in there but me I, I just speak the truth and i just get accused of such shit and everyone believes them and everyone takes them for lip service even though i call them utter fucking fools because there's no way in hell a human being Bean. could know someone's true intentions in life or know how their personal life is if they don't know them in real life but yet people still blindly follow these idiots because they, in fact, are idiots themselves. Shani Shen Shen, this is me in the present time, 2024. Isn't that what you do? Isn't that what you just did recently by grifting $4,300 out of people that you knew were Christians and thought they were helping you out? Isn't that what you did then and you're still doing now? You... Hypocrit hypocrit hypocritical piece of shit. You're still doing the same thing. You are the one who are preying on the people kindness of people's hearts. You piece of shit. Shut up. And so yes, I know I had a hard time pronouncing that word for some reason. I had a hard time pronouncing that word. I'm just going to leave that in there because it's funny. I, I, I wanted that love and that fame and that, that pretty face that everyone shined when it was sent. I wanted... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. I wanted that love and that fame and that pretty, I'm assuming, face that everyone shined when it was sent. I don't... What does that mean? So... Oh, my God. You guys, I just found this video today. I went through it and was like, okay, this is interesting and listen all the way through. But my previous video I just posted, the longer one. Didn't I say Shamu would do better in theater? So all of this have been about money and fame and beautifulness. I don't get that part. This is all she ever wanted. This is insanity. Holy crap. I wanted that love and that fame and that, that pretty face that everyone shines when it was sent. I want... You guys, this is a very important part of funny telling. I left this part in for a reason. And again, this is the same Jewel says to be friends with her. 
broke up, went on burnt toast, did the last room together. Now she's back being a mat for Shani. Listen to this, what she had to say about my Shamu. I wanted that in life so fucking bad. Did I get it? I mean, honey, like, did I get that in life? No, I didn't get that in life. Honestly, Shani, I wanted... I'm going to be real for a second. I wanted you to get aborted, but that didn't happen. So moral of the story is we don't get everything we want in life, okay? So, I mean, it is what it is. Oh, my gosh. You agree with Shani because she also wanted that. Oh my god, I know, right? Oh. I, you know, I we both wished it. Okay, just didn't come true. Wow, you could be best friends again. Um, besties, besties, hit me up, Shani. <laughs> oh my god, insanity deals because now you're besties again because you're also her mutt again. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I didn't get love in life. I got hate, ridicule, uh, unrighteous judgment. Just judged for the most stupidest things, and everything I say is twisted, and and people can't see through it. They can't I see mean, through it. You can't literally said the moon wasn't real. Yeah, yeah, she did say that. So bullshit that people do to me. They can't. They're completely blind to it, or they're completely they they want to keep it going because they're too much of cowards to say anything and call these people out for literally destroying someone's life and their livelihood and. Who they feel about, pe how they feel about people. Your livelihood. When was that, Shani? When when did you have one of those? Well, well, not toasty. She used to have one of those in 1798. I don't know what happened in 1798, but that's mm -hmm. when she used to have her livelihood. Okay, that's when that happened. Okay, that was that. That was that. That's when it happened. Okay. Yeah. That's how far I've become in my depravity, is I want God to push the red button. Yeah, I said that. Because at this point, at this point, it, 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 it's... There's no hope. So why keep something going if there's no hope left? You know, why? That's just unneeded suffering. That but the demons, they like to feed on the energy of people feeling hopeless and and feeling disillusioned to life. They like that. They don't, they don't want people to be happy. They, they don't want people to, to feel a, a gratefulness to life. No, 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 no. The demons, they want you to hate life and, and, and every aspect of it. And I do. My, my mom and dad aborted me. I wish oh, they did. Oh, fuck. I wish so, too. Damn, we on the same page. You guys see what I mean? Like, I'm not understanding. That was Jules that just reiterated. Re reiterated. Sorry, in my language, our R's are super silent. So it's hard for me to pronounce the R's in certain letters. Because, yeah, very silent. Um, What happened between then... And this stream, and then Jules going back to mudding for Shani. Because this whole thing is just so confusing for me. Like, what happened? Suffer. I wouldn't have to suffer anymore that I am. Because I'm always in pain. Physically, mentally, emotionally in pain. Listen here, you oversized, fat, Lenwell, buck tooth. You're in physical pain because of your own doing. You never, ever went to work on yourself and find out how and why you are the way you are. It's easier to pin it on other people. You dumb dumb, shut up. And there's these dumb little bitches out there saying they have this and this and this and they still have to work a factory job over a little pain. And I'm like, I don't have a little pain. I have, I stand up and I'm shaken and I'm out of breath. Of course you are, you fat cow. 
you cannot put your body through the ringer with that much weight and expect it to be okay with it. You fat soul. Shut up. Oh my god, this needs to go on my uh, members on my members um what you call that? Sticker. Oh, I need to make this sticker. Yeah, Shenny, lose some fucking weight and then your body will stop screaming at you, you fat cow. So, in the next clip is Shani trying to align herself, apparently, with her mother's heart disease. So, here we go. Now, there was a period of time for a while where she talked about how she had the same uh, heart defect that her mom was born with. And I know that that's not true because when her mom was first diagnosed in her, like, 40s or 50s, they told her that, you know, you don't live very long once you get diagnosed. And then, sure enough, you know, she only lasted another 10, 15 years, but... Her mother actually told all of us in one of these videos, she said that as soon as she found out that it was a genetic uh, birth defect, something about the way the heart uh, functions and things like that, um, and there's no surgery, you can't fix it, it's just one of those things you have to manage, and then it greatly shortens your life. So she had all four children tested, and they all came back negative. And she talked about how she was so relieved that her kids didn't have the same heart defect that she had. So, And then it was funny, that then later Shani was like, oh, I have the same thing. Girl, no, you don't. No, you don't. You'd be in an oxygen tank. You would be dead. <laughs> what are you talking about? I feel like I'm about to pass out type of pain. That's the type of pain I'm in. Severe fucking pain. Always. Good. And then you add the emotional aspect of the pain onto it. And you just want to just give up on life. Do Imagine it. how your kids feel. You. What's that? I said, do it. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, imagine how our kids feel. Being told, oh, I'm going to kill you if you don't find the cat. Are you kidding me? Why? Please do not tell me that these two. These two. Unworthy. Of human life, human beings. Say that to those two little kids. Please tell me that they did not say that. How would you ever say that to a kid? I just, I cannot. The way that, that they have both spoken to those children, the way that they have treated them. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I have zero sympathy whatsoever. She wants to talk about pain, then she should think about the pain that she's inflicted on those boys. Period. You just want to give up on life. You don't, you don't want to like, stay here to suffer more. Why? Why should I be forced to suffer on earth? That, that's a real question. No, Shani, why should the rest of the world have to suffer because of you and your evilness? You are horrible, disgusting, disgusting fucking human being. And you have the balls day after day until you think you hit your mark and you disappear. You deserve the money from everybody else, from the hot work because what? Because white shiny. And yet you still, till this day, you think you deserve your son's love because you're such a fabulous mother. I need to live in your fucking land of delusions, you fucking cunt. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not going to edit that. That's how I feel. I'm upset. And, and why do people force their abuse upon me. Shemway, you enforced abuse on your own children, your soul. You useless carcass of a human being. How dare you? But anyways, in a letter note, isn't this a beautiful, beautiful painting picture? Shani. Look at this beautiful picture. Your life will never be this beautiful. Ever. Because you are a rotten human being. You know, sometimes I have this feeling that some people are just born rotten. And then I flay back and forth about that opinion. With you, 
No, you were born rotten, and I deeply, deeply apologize to anybody that crossed your path and had to deal with you because. Oh my God, oh my God! Because your blood was supposed to mean everything, like this beautiful painting. And again, another side note. I'm sorry. Any of you guys ever watch Underworld? Kate Beckinsale. I think it was like the third installment of the death, and how beautiful that burial was. I don't know. That should make me cry. Anyways, moving on. There's the kid's bio dad uh, in and out of prison for meth. He has not been in the picture for a long time, most of their lives. Probably since they've been born. Yeah. Oh my goodness, these poor kids. I hope they thrive in life forever and ever and never look back to this thing that wants to claim to be a mother when it's convenient for her. I really, really hope that those kids are doing really, really well in life. Pretty much. <clears throat> and then when the first time that she lost the kids was when she was with him. Because he was selling and using meth. And his mother is the one who called CPS on her. Even though at the time she was blaming trolls and her mother. It was her actually her mother-in-law that it called. That was the first time. That's where it all began. And you could go ahead and say I'm abusive all, 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 all you want. But you can look in my comment section and you can see just abusive ass fucking people just constantly fucking attacking me. You're the abusive ones, not me. <laughs> I try to leave people alone. I try to do my own thing. I try to mind my own fucking business. That's what I do. But no, I get things like, why should someone care about a cow's birthday? <laughs> I mean, facts. I'm not even... Uh, that's actually kind of funny. As a human... No. Being, I'm not even regarded as one. I'm regarded as a cow, or a whale, <laughs> or some kind of... Don't forget sand often. Hmm. Has our community... Shamu and Skeletor ever heard of Cognant, Cognant Dissident? Have these two brilliant, brilliant scholarly people ever heard of such thing called Cognitive Dissident? Let me know. While leeching off me constantly. That's some serious fucked upness. That's some serious fuck upness, and it really, like, it, it's to the point now that I'm just, like, done. You know, I'm done with the fakeness. I'm done with it. I'm done with the cruelty. I, I'm, I'm done with being labeled as some evil person when I don't do shit to anyone. Uh -huh. And the only reason why I'm labeled evil is because I have fucking opinions like other fucking people have opinions. But their opinions can be valued. My opinions turn me into an evil person. So, you guys, I chose to choose to use this picture because of our long lost sister, Foodie Beauty. But is it me or since the time change? Why do Americans do this? Since the time change, like you guys, I swear to God, this is a sidebar. I have been falling asleep super early. Like an super old person, if you know, trust you me, I love my sleep. My parents would call me at like 8 o'clock. And they'd be like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I ate my dinner an hour ago. I'm about ready to take my bath and back to sleep. And they're like, wait, what? What are you taking about to sleep? It's only like 8.30, 9 o'clock. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm ready for sleep. Is it me or especially in my country and a lot of countries don't do that. Switching clocks back and forth. That words on my body, I feel the time change when they switch those clocks and they play a trick on my body and I hate it. You know, even Christians go around and say how evil and demonic and satanic I am and it's like you fuckers don't even know how close I am to God. I'm always talking to him. Interesting. I don't care if there's... Shani Shen Shen, are you sure? 
You close up to God? Are you sure about this? Because if you're close to God, I don't want to know that God. I honestly do not want to know that God, if you think you're close to God. People around, I'm going to talk to him. Because really, he's the only one that truly actually listens and understands me. Everyone else, they just want to misunderstand me, misread me, and, and, and lie about me just so they can get money, just so they can get dough, because they can't do it on their own. They need me to make money. Oh, my God. Hey, Skeletor, shots fired. That was a shots fired at you, homie. What are you going to say? What are you going to do? Oh, let me guess. Nothing. That was a straight shot, shot, whatever, ammo at you. There was no strays. There was nothing. That was shots fired at you, homie. And Jason, until this day, you are meant to provide hair. Cushy, cushy life. Even though the money's gone. You smoke the money. Whatever you do with the money. You are supposed to still provide her all the comfort she took home. She's accustomed to, apparently. That's, yeah. And on top of that, put a poop bucket in the middle of your room. Your, who is that person that owns that? Your uncle's living room so she can poop comfortably without having to walk. You backed yourself a winner, Jason. You backed yourself a winner. So, yeah, I'm used and abused and treated <laughs> like shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yet, I'm the evil one. You know, you have all these people talking shit about me, but yet, I'm the evil one. It makes no sense. And it's completely unfair. And I hate life. Because it's not just people online. It's it's people in my personal life doing the same fucking thing. Jason. Oh, oh. That's either Jason or G-Man. Because she didn't got a personal life outside of those two people. Well, I think she probably is mad at G-Man at the moment because of uh, not getting anything for her birthday. He probably yeah. forgot it was her birthday. Probably. Personal life. Do the same fucking thing. Treating me like I'm a ghost. Treating me like a no one. Trying to label me evil for the shit they do to others. Oh. But see, it's me. I call them out for being evil, right? But yeah, I'm evil for calling them out. Uh. At this point, Toasty and Jules were certain that they were, Shani was talking about G-Man on her birthday meltdown. She was definitely talking about G-Man. I cut a lot of that out because it's too much banter for my liking. But here we go again. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. But see, I guess that's how evil people roll, is they just don't want to acknowledge they're evil. They don't want to acknowledge that they cause people suffering and pain. They Shani, you piece of shit of a human being. Who the fuck do you think you are? Like, honestly, who the fuck do you think you are that people need to bow down to you? And when you had all that freaking money, why didn't you get your teeth fixed, homie? Why didn't you get all those moles taken away from from your face, removed? And you think people owe you something? Get bent, ho. Wait, you can't because you're too fat to even bend down. Shut up. And acknowledge it. That's why they say, oh, she's faking, she's lying, she's not telling the truth. Because they have to demean that. So they have a reason, an excuse to continue to bully someone. And it is so pathetic to, to see these 30, 40, 50 year olds act like utter fucking middle school children. I'm so disappointed in life. I, I, I seriously can't have a true adult conversation with anyone without them acting like children. I'm living in the land of idiocracy. You know, um, there's this dude that says he's a time traveler from the year like uh, 24 something or other. 
and 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 he said their people called this the age of stupid I again shenny shen sham we do not want you on our planet as alien people over here, whatever space we're in, we do not want you. You are a terrible, you make a mockery of our planet. And you will stink it up. We don't want you over here, ho. Bye. I'm sorry. Um, She's calling everybody else stupid while she claims to believe a guy who says he's a time traveler. Um, no, no, Shani. <laughs> that guy is probably a meth head. Call some bath salt. <laughs> Who was just saying that he's from the year 2400. <laughs> what? <laughs> time traveler? Wow, if a time traveler said it, guys, he says we're, we're all stupid. So we, we better stop being stupid because we need to impress a time traveler who may or may not be on bath salts behind the Taco Bell. You're <laughs> making that up. The age of stupid and I I agree I agree there's so much stupidity going on in this world right now and 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 not only stupidity but stupidity mixed with hypocrisy see it's it's okay for other people to do it but other people can't do it but yet they're gonna they're going to um rail on people for doing the same thing they do and they can't even see that they're full of shit you know just stupidity they're too stupid to realize they're hypocrites they're, they're too stupid to realize the damage they do to people because they're too busy to be like, oh, I, I, I knocked her down. <laughs> I did it. I knocked her down. I did it. Can, can I get credit? I said something bad to her. I made her feel bad. Can I get credit? Can I get credit? It was like almost like she's describing G-Man. That's what G-Man does. And honestly, from this timeline, I believe you are correct, Toasty. It fits perfectly, even though now G-Man, in present 2024, he's doing his best to distance himself from these two. I don't get it. Because it's like, why is G-Man not monetizing his channel? That's the part I don't really get it. Is he working under the table too as well? Is he collecting SSL or some shit? Because it does not make sense to me why he is not monetizing his channel. But at the same time, it's the exact same thing that G-Man is doing today. So somebody please fill me in. You really want validation from people who are cruel and disgusting? You really want validation from a group of people that literally bully people, but use all these excuses on why they have to bully them without actually acknowledging, yeah, they're bullying them and just leaving it at that. It don't matter what the person does. Bullying is bullying. Bully. You know, it doesn't matter what the person has done in their life. You're, you're participating in a group of people who are attacking someone and, and you're saying you're a good person. You're full of shit. Damn it. I hate agreeing with Shamu on this one. G-Man is also another piece of shit. And honestly, you guys, I have watched videos of G-Man and Jason and the Shamu at his house that jason sold to g-man for a dollar it made me uncomfortable but then at the same time i have to remember that g-man is also a piece of shit so i am thinking that my next coming videos are gonna be um of them at g-man's house because the more i watch those vi videos g-man my dude, you look like a piece of shit. Instead of like, not chasing on everybody else, get your channel monetized for fuck's sake. There's a reason why your channel is not monetized. I am thinking you're gaining something from the state or something like that. 
do something to prove me wrong. Because that's what you love to do. It's you love to prove people wrong without proving them wrong. And your banter is hysterical. And also, fix your damn freaking mic. You took the most expensive mic from Rav. He gave those to you. I, I apologize by saying that he you took them. He gave those to you. Use them. Utilize them correctly. You saw. You cow. I acknowledge nobody likes me. I acknowledge it. I recognize it. And I accept it. But at the same time, I can only be me. And that's <laughs> all I'm going to be, is me. Facts. I don't need to be anyone else. But me. You know? It, uh, I don't. Because, see, I hear here. At the end of the day, I know I'm innocent. <laughs> I, I, I know I don't hurt people. Oh, I thought you said you weren't going to lie, Shani. Damn, got him. Oh, okay. Because uh, the state of Pennsylvania says you're guilty. Ooh. Oh, and CPS says you're guilty. Yep. Yep. And when you got arrested in uh, North Carolina for stuff, you were guilty there. And when you got arrested in Minnesota multiple times for putting your hands on people, you were guilty there. And when you got arrested in Colorado for beating people up, beating, you know, beating your. Wait a minute. So. Our girl was out here doing this state tour of beating up people. Is this true? Holy moly. Shani. Shani Shan Shan. Mashamu. Well, and again, you are beating up on Jason. Eh, whatever. This is why I think these two deserve each other. If they're with each other, the rest of the world don't have to experience them at all. Let them fester in each other's misery because they know they cannot get anybody else except for Jason, you know, trying to hire sex workers. They deserve each other. And honestly, this is a big if. Big if. This is me calling day. Big if. If these two are for real, for real to break up, we need to put up flyers on the internet for the sex workers to... Yes, lovelies, we need to put up flyers for the sex workers to avoid the non-existent pain. Because he's going to be wasting that time. And because he only has 57, was it 57 or 54 cents on his pocket? To stay away from the Marco Pin dude. And if when he has money and they're broken up, when if he has the money, actually he has the money now because he scammed it for other people, rob him. I know it's terrible. Just rob his dumb ass. Partner up. You were guilty there. Um, like, and here it is, Pennsylvania. It's like a multi-state guilty. Of doing things, putting your hands on people, and abusing children. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you're innocent. I don't. I don't think that's how it works. I don't know. What do you think, Jules? Um, I think that she is very fat and a liar. Wow. Well, you heard it here, folks. Our uh, reporter on the ground. Yeah. yeah. I don't try to cause drama with people. I don't. I don't, I don't try to push people's buttons. I just don't do that. Because it doesn't make me feel good inside. And really, I can't understand. That's fucking annoying <laughs> as hell where I'm at. I really want another internet provider. Like another hotel room? No, another hotel building or company or something? I don't know. Yeah, that's not... You don't get to change providers in a hotel room, Shani. That's not how that works. Because this sucks. This sucks. My whole life sucks. Let's yep. just remember that. Yeah. And that's whose fault, Shani? That'd be you. That'd be you. <laughs> My whole being sucks. 
I'm without anything. I'm without hope. And I don't want to be in this reality anymore. And you're without your kids, which is the only thing that I really cared about. So that now that they're with a loving home that can actually feed them, hey, what you do is what you do. I don't really give a shit. I want to go to a different dimension. You know, can the aliens who are listening to this, can you please put me in another dimension where I can be happy? Because that's all I want in life is to be happy at this point. You know, not love, not cherish, no fame, not even money per se. Oh my God, I was correct. Shani Shen Shen, I need you to go into theater. It's not too late to chase your beloved dream. You'll be great in theater. Go for it. But wait. You have to walk out of the door and do something, you fucking fat soul. There's talent here, you guys. Hear me out. There is talent here. But she is squandering it away. I don't know why she keeps throwing in that word fame, but that was never going to be on the table for you, honey. I'm just throwing that out there. Like, that's that's not ever going to be even an option. I, uh, yeah, that's not, that's not a thing. It's almost like she is saying that she was thinking that she was going to be famous one day and somehow that was going to just give her my, I don't know what she under. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Calling Doctor Strange, right? Y'all get what I'm saying, right? Like Rev did the same thing with his radio idea. He thought he was just going to somehow wake up one day and be a famous radio producer or speaker or something. It's like, that's not, that's not how that works. You have to put in years of hard work and a lot of risk and a lot of effort and failures and then getting back up and then failing again. You, you have to go through all of that for years to get to the point where you can say, okay, I'm a news anchor, or I'm a radio host, or I'm this, or I'm successful at this or that. And even a lot of those people don't ever reach fame. And they don't do it because they want to be fame famous. They do it because they want to do it because it's their dream job, or it's something that they're really passionate about. It's their career. It's just, it's bizarre. Like these people just have no concept at all of what it means to actually work hard and stay in that hard work long term to see the results years down the road. They never actually finish anything. <laughs> the loop. Tosi, I loved that dad drive, but unfortunately, in order to finish something, you must start it. But to be happy, to have peace, to not hear all this negativity and toxic words thrown at me for no reason. For no other reason other than they can. And they're addicted to being fucking cruel. They certainly can't try being kind. Because when they are kind, it's fake. That was a shot at Jules. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, it's so weird to me that she thinks that, like, like a human in general just can't be, like, cruelly nice at the same, like, you know, two separate times, whatever. Like, I can treat Shani like shit and then in my real life I you know the people that don't treat me like shit I'm kind to them because you know you know it's like kind of respect back to them even people like I deal with at work <clears throat> you know you guys what blows my mind is after all this that was Joel's in the last clip she went back mining for them let that sink in what the hell is going on with these people I have to, even though they're assholes to me, it doesn't mean I need to be an asshole to them. Yeah, like, yeah, again, she doesn't understand work and that whole dynamic, so. <laughs> it's fake. And Jason knows it. Jason knows how fake you people are. Mm, I'm pretty that, sure that's he? why Jason was sending me all those messages with the hearts. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yikes. Like he was communicating with the, the prostitutes or the escorts or whatever. <laughs> I was fucking dead. <laughs> Jason! 
And the fact I was in there under a sock account telling her that she he also was um hitting me up and stuff, and so she believed it. And it was hilarious. <laughs> I set her up for that one. Are you the one that told her that um you had posted something on Twitter about it? Was that you that posted that? What, what did I do? There was somebody during that stream that was commenting in her live chat that was saying, Jules just posted evidence of him flirting oh, with yeah, her that on was Twitter. Me. Oh, that was you? That was... I knew it. I knew uh, it. That... You guys see what I mean? That Jules is back being the mod over there, present day? This is insanity. You just heard everything that I heard. And Jules is back being a mod. And again, my question is, is Jules and Toasty still friends or no? It was me, literally. <laughs> I was like, I'm about to start some shit for fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Jason's so stupid he was texting with sex bots. Yeah, yeah, he's not that bright. But what's so funny is like, he had what, 57 cents? And I'm like, wow, there's escorts that take 57 cents. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, because, you know, he's just so hot. Right. He's, he's just, you know. <laughs> he is the type of person that I have to pay extra. I'm just saying. <laughs> he would have to probably pay extra. I, I would have, you have to, like, watch him take, like, 10 showers before anything. <laughs> oh, God. Gross. Oh, I can't, I cannot even. Ugh. Gross. Spending. It's very important. And that's why parents always leave their stuff to their kids. My parents didn't leave anything to me. Because they had nothing to leave. Exactly. They didn't have anything to leave you, Shani. They were working class people that worked their tails off just to keep food on the table. And then what little retirement they had was spent on all of her medical bills because she quickly went downhill health-wise. And then he also was having surgeries. He had like a knee surgery. Um, he was dealing with all kinds of other health issues. She had um, a heart, like several heart surgeries. I think she also had a knee surgery. Like they, they were drowning in bills and all of their money went to pay all of that off. I wouldn't be surprised is if they left debt, not an inheritance. So, I mean, I don't know what she's talking about. I mean, like, and by the way, you like did not talk to them and nor do they want to talk to you and you treated them like shit and told them to die. So, <laughs> right. I mean, yeah, she absolutely did that. And now she's slandering her sister again, claiming that her sister was like beating her up and stuff, which that's not, that never happened. They did. My sister stole my inheritance. <laughs> she stole my inheritance and stole my fucking heart. Shenny Shen Shen, your sister stole your inheritance? Oh my god, please do not tell me that this woman actually believed when her parents passed away that she will also inherit. Seven hundred forty or oh, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Oh my God! Please don't tell me that. What does she mean? Her sister stole her heart. I don't understand this. I honestly don't. And what does that mean? Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. This makes no sense. That's the weirdest thing to say, though. To me, to, I would never it like is. to say my like sister stole my heart. That makes no fucking sense to me. That's something that a psycho ex girlfriend says. Right? Uh, yeah, it sounds to me like she got disowned. Oh, yeah, she got disowned years ago by her entire extended family. She got nobody. Nobody. Like, I remember I used to love that girl so fucking much. And That's also weird to say. Hit me as it, it is. And she's, she acts like it's a relationship, though. Yes, exactly. That's why it's weird. The little girl. In a lot of ways, my sister helped with the BP. Oh, shut the fuck I'd up. I'd pushing away and the hit None of this is true. Like her parents told stories about how like when her sister graduated high school, they threw a party, like a high school graduation party, and Shani tried to ruin it. She was so jealous that her sister was getting attention. Just like when it was her birthday, she would get attention and every all the kids would get their own day for different things. And it was her sister's turn. And they had some people over and people were they had food and everything. And Shani, like in the middle of this get together was so jealous that her sister was getting attention that she started throwing a fit and started crying and saying, oh, nobody's talking to me. I'm feeling left out. And just like com had a complete meltdown like a two-year-old. And then her parents tried all kinds of ways to help her finish high school and she never did, um, never even started the 12th grade. Like she shouldn't even have passed the 11th grade, but she they did pass her just to get rid of her. And they tried uh, buying her homeschool books. They tried 
um, sending her to a community college to take GED classes to finish up her 12th grade. She just would never do any of it and then would complain that her mom didn't throw her a graduation party. And then was like, oh, well, you know, my parents never let me go to prom. Well, girl, you weren't allowed to go to prom because you were told by the school board that if you showed up on school property, you'd be arrested for trespassing. They literally banned you from the premises. You were not allowed to go to prom. So it wasn't anything your parents did. So it was just so many lies, just lies on top of lies. So you guys, that's our high priestess, our beautiful Shamu, our beautiful Lemuel, our beautiful, disgusting human being of a mother. That's her story. That's what happened on her birthday. And I'm happy that she had a terrible birthday. And I'm hoping from now on, all her birthdays from now on are extra, extra horrible. And that's all I got for you guys today. And I will catch you in the next one. Later, later.